Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be installing some clips 150 millimeters apart and level onto a tiled surface using a battery drill. Behind the tiles we have a block wall. Right, so first of all, in the area where we want to install the clips, we are going to put some masking tape. This. All right, then using a spirit level, we draw a nice level line across. Like this. Like this. So the specifications are that the clips need to be 150 millimeters apart. So let's measure. 150 millimeters apart. First clip here, right, we're then going to measure 150 mil for the second clip, which is there, then I'm going to measure 300, 450 there. So one, two, three, four. So that's our four marks there. I'm going to show you two different ways to drill through the tile. First, using a masonry drill bit. And secondly, using a drill bit designed to drill holes through tiles. Right, so this, is, this one is a specialist tile hole cutter for tiles. And this is just a normal masonry drill bit for drilling through blocks. But we can also use this to drill through the tile. So let's start with this one first because you may not have this specialist tool. To stop us drilling too deep into the wall, what we're going to do is we're going to put some masking tape onto the drill bit to the required depth. That deep. Right there. So that's how deep. So we're going to mark it. There. Like that. What is very important though that when drilling through the tile, we need to make sure that the drill is not in hammer mode. Because if you do it in hammer mode, it could damage the tile. So let's make sure it's in normal drilling mode. Right, so that's that's the hammer mode, it's just a picture of a hammer. So we're going to switch it just to normal drilling mode, like that. But right, even though it's a battery drill we're using, we still need to wear eye protection and ear protection. So we're going to just focus on drilling through the tile. But once we drill through the tile in drill mode, we can then switch it to hammer mode and drill through the block like before. So let's do it. I've gone through the tile. I can now switch it to hammer mode and drill through the block. <coughs> it's a bit slippery. then switch it to, so once you've gone through the tile, then switch it to hammer mode. Like right, I've swapped over the drill bit. We're gonna use the designated hole cutter for tiles. Let's see how that one goes. Right, so. Right, so make sure it's in non-hammer mode. Right, so is it, it's less slippery. Right, 
but then once we've gone through the tile, we then have to change the to change the bit back to the masonry bit to go through the actual block work. So So we, right, so we can use this plunger. This stops the drill bit slipping if you have it. So, what, so for example, if we want to drill a hole here, so we line up the hole there, put the plunger on like that. Then making sure the drill's not in hammer mode. Okay, so we've gone through the tile. Like that. And we then finish it in hammer mode. Like that. Another trick to stop the drill slipping when drilling through a tile is using a tiler's scribe. That's what we do using the we just Push in. It's an old Tyler's trick. And that takes off the glaze. And then just like before, in non-hammer mode. And then hammer mode. Take the masking tape off. Like this. Right, so once we have drilled the holes, we then put the red wall plugs in. So one, two, three, four. Bang them in. Bang them in gently, but then use the, put the screw in. And bang them in like that. So it's important that the wall plug sits, so it goes through past the tile. Because if it doesn't, when the screw goes in, it could expand and crack the tile. So what we do, That. Then using the screw, just bang it in like that. So it's gone, it's gone past the tile. Like that. Like that. Right, so if you don't look, you can sort of see the wall plug has cleared, has gone through past the tile. So 10 millimeters goes through the clip, about five millimeters goes through the tile, and 30 millimeters goes into the wall plug like this. So that's the screws we're gonna be using. And we then screw the clips in. So the one, Now you know how to install clips onto tiled surfaces, it's your turn to have a go.